All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go from having a guest uh, box, guest checkbox on your 123 Flash Chat site, or how to remove it in case you're having problems with guest chatters, as they do on teen-chat.org. So first of all, in the admin panel, this is how easy it is. You as admin go into your panel, you go to the client settings over here, then you click view, and this is what comes up at the very top. If you want to allow guests, then you will click the show the guest checkbox and check the guest box by default. You can choose that um, so that when people pop on, they can simply go, oh, okay, I can put in whatever username I want or go in as a guest name and then come in. Or you can uncheck that box and then they will have to check that box in order to switch from being a regular signed in member, that uh, who, a person who has an account on the site, or um, you know, they will have to uh, create an account or they can go back to using um, the guest box. So I will show you what that looks like on my site. Okay, when you first come into the site, this is what you'd see. If you had chosen the guest, so you would have the guest checkbox, um, which would be marked or unmarked, and then you would simply type in a username, any username you'd like, and your sex, etc., like you would do on, um, you know, when you sign up on a site. Now, uh, the difference is that when you do the uncheck of the guest box, which is what you can set up again, you can uncheck it so that it's not checked by default so that if you have a lot of members who come into your site, you can actually get them to come in and they don't have to worry about that and it's not that confusing. So I'll go back and I'll show you what it looks like when you change it up and you do not allow guests. Okay, and as I said, you can, if you want to allow guests, you can uncheck that guest checkbox by default as I showed you. All right, so now what happens when you uncheck it and you don't allow guests? Now, people will have to sign in in some manner. You scroll down the page after you uncheck the box and then click Save. That's very important. And then once you've done that, you will notice that the uh, registration login area is a bit different. I'll show you that now. All right, so now we've unchecked the box. And now the uh, users have two options. One, they can sign in with an account which they registered on the site. So if, for instance, teen-chat.org removed the guests, that would probably get rid of the a lot of the child predators and solve the issue. Um, and uh, would force people to actually create an account with an email and password and everything else. So this is one option. Now here, you would just sign in with your membership. You could register using that link down below. And you could sign in with social accounts. So this is kind of cool. And in my opinion, it's a little bit more social than um, sitting in a chat room with a bunch of people calling themselves guests. It's a random you know, selected name. Um, this way you could actually interact with people and that's what a chat is all about, isn't it? It's about being social. So now you have options to sign in. You can connect with Facebook, you can connect with Twitter, with MSN, with Yahoo, and with Gmail. So those are the things you can do. So uh, I hope that this was helpful to those young chatters of um, teen-chat.org to actually see how easy it would be for the owner to stop the activity that's going on there. Now, before I finish this, I should show you one last thing. In teen-chat.org, there are messages which are streamed which feature adult links to um, adult sites and that clearly state they're for 18 and older. Some of the youth there are under the impression that it's extremely difficult to remove that and so are the admin and moderators who are who are there. They're not familiar with it and I'm going to show you quickly how to do that then I'll end the video. All right, so how easy is it? Once you get to the admin panel, as I showed you a little earlier, now you scroll down the page and choose room settings and in the room which you have. And then you would go to chatbot. This is kind of important right here. And this is exactly where those messages are. So for instance, somebody could be streaming the, um, the link to that, uh, 
that uh, cam the webcam chat room for adults that you know um, they could be having it here and it's simply you uh, you would simply enable the chat bot or you unable you know unenable it or whatever you remove it and that is an option and it only takes a couple of you know I mean seconds to do as you can clearly see so if for instance I wanted to add a message here it would be simply add and then hello this is a test message happy Friday okay so then here you could change it you could you know you could make it larger or whatever mine goes all the way I put mine all the way up to 22 I believe so you can actually you know or 20 sorry the uh, font is at 20 and I'm gonna bold this and then go okay so what's happening now is this is going to be an active message now if we go back to this window um, once I uh, log in I'm gonna use um, what should I do here I'm not gonna log in there <laughs> but anyways I'll show you on my other account alright so I'm logging in with my user uh, name and password I used on the site to register so now we're in the chat room now at the top of this page these things that you're seeing up here are your messages that um, are also something they're welcome messages I'll show you those in a second alright so as you can see this is um, the message which I showed you and is similar to what happens in teen-chat.org where the owner is saying it's really hard to remove the ad it's not that hard I just showed you how to do it now I'm gonna go back and show you how to remove it so we're back in our panel right now so now we see this now in order to have the chat bot going you have to enable the chat bot here's what we're gonna do we're going to unenable un it, remove it, and then we're going to go ahead and then I'm going to delete this message because it's annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and do delete and then save. And then when I go back into my chat room now, that little annoying message will not be repeating every 10 seconds. So this is what you can see um, every 10 seconds it was repeating. Now, this just goes to show you that the owner of the chat is not interested in removing that link at all because if he was, he could do it within a matter of seconds. All right. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, watching the video, and um, I hope you're having a great day. And to all those teen-chat.org viewers, I hope this has been helpful to you to explain how easy things would be to change if the owner really wanted to. Thanks, everybody.